Hello, Heritage Faith family. Uh, welcome back for another encouraging word. Uh, once again, I want you to know that Pastor Annette and I love you. We believe in you and we believe the best is yet to come in your life. Uh, even though these are trying times, I also want you to know that I believe it's the greatest days that the church has ever known. So I'm gonna encourage you, it's time for you to shine. It's time for you to shine brighter and brighter. You know, that's what Proverbs tells us. It says the path of, of the just grows brighter and brighter. So don't look at these as dark times. Look at these as times for you to shine. Look at it as times that you're gonna see God do amazing things, things that we had only talked about or dreamed about. And I'm telling you, you are an overcomer, amen? Now, as we get in the word today and with the word of encouragement today, I wanna remind you of some of the things we've talked about. Number one, always remember as believers, let's set our affection on things that are above. Remember, Jesus told, told the disciples, he told them, men's hearts are failing because of fear and they're looking at the things that are coming on the earth. So that's why we don't look at the things that are going on the earth. We look to him. We look to the word. We look to the spirit of God on the inside, that he, the spirit of God that he's placed on the inside of us. Now, as, as, I, as we go about the word today and this word of encouragement, our scripture is found in Acts chapter 11. And this was an, uh, an interesting time in the church's day at this time. And in Acts chapter 11, at this time, Stephen was martyred. The church was scattered, meaning they were isolated. What they had known as the church in Jerusalem and all that had happened, everything was dispersed throughout the world. And that's kind of similar to how we might feel today. We're kind of dispersed even though they still had meeting places and, and they could meet and we're able to meet now. We're just doing it live stream and, and all that. And I believe God is doing great things in the midst of all this. Uh, but we're not going to go backwards. We're going to go forwards. But, but there's this sense of being scattered. There's this sense of unstable. There's this sense of unshakiness. But I'm telling you, I believe, like I said, this is the church's greatest hour. But what I want to bring out in this scripture is the church at that time that was scattered sent Barnabas down to this place called Antioch because they were hearing of all the miracles and they were seeing and hearing, they were hearing of all the great things that were taking place. So they sent Barnabas down there and Barnabas shows up and, and after all, this was actually the first place in this chapter is where they were first called Christians. They were first called anointed ones. They were first called uh, as, as Christians. And here in verse 22, verse 23, it says, when he arrived and he saw what grace God was bestowing upon them, he was full of joy and he continuously exhorted meaning he encouraged them, he talked to them, he spoke to them. He said he warned them, he urged them, he encouraged them all to do something. What did he encourage them? He encouraged them this, to cleave unto and remain faithful to the Lord and devoted to him with steady purpose of heart. And that's my encouraging word to you today. And that's what Barnabas' was in this season when everything was shaken, when things were scattered, what did he communicate to them? He said, look, he said, I want you to remain faithful, devoted to the Lord with steady purpose of heart. This was his constant message to the church in Antioch, that you remain steady, that you remain devoted, that you remain locked into that you, you, you remain unified with, with steady purpose of heart. In this time, in this season, I'll encourage you, don't let your heart be troubled. Don't let your heart be moved. But like Barnabas, I want to encourage each one of you that you remain faithful to, devoted to the Lord with steady purpose of heart. Don't let anything else in your, in your heart but the Word of God. Be established in it. Be founded upon it. And I'm telling you, as you do, you'll become stronger and stronger. So I declare over you today, you are strong in the Lord in the power of his might. Greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. We love you. God bless. And until next time.